Hi everyone, welcome back to Doll and Twink. Today we're going to be discussing episode 6 of season 16. Welcome to the dollhouse. This is my episode. You can leave. Yes, love the background. Looks Thank so you. Good. Are you going to still... add posters to the back? Yeah, it's a work in or progress is that be... of decorating. Do you still have a white wall, like a clear wall for pictures? or Is that it? or is it? No, I have a backdrop wall? that I'm going to finally set up that I've had for a year. Oh, okay. I just never had the space for it before. I bought that green screen from Elgato. That's like it, like folds. Why like did this. you buy a green just... screen? Um, I forgot. I was high when you're I not did that. streaming. No, but I think I'm gonna find a use for it. Is all. Oh, you you can find a use for it for your your new your new endeavor. Oh, oh. POV. I'm Little Mermaid on the ocean. <laughs> Right, right. No, yeah, you could definitely find a use for like funny videos if you wanted to use it. Yeah. So plus, it's like it's literally well. When when my friend told me about it, I was like, oh, I didn't know backdrops could be that easy. Yeah, I the the Elgato one's like the best one. Too. Like the Elgato one's really. I've been thinking about buying that one too because I'm like, do I gotta like do I want to have like a stream setup where there's like no box around me? It's just like I'm there and yeah. I'm like, hey, <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. So, considering that, considering that, um, but yeah, how have you well, been? Today we're going to talk, I've been good, mm -hmm. um, I went our home episodes for like a week. Our really out of whack, but we're going to fix it, and we're going to get we're it. We're catching up. We're getting it caught up. This one will probably go I up. I was on an unrecognized national holiday. No, literally, we're, no one talked about it. It's not national, so. It should be. Yeah. Because, why not? It's on my it calendar gives, in my kitchen. Them, it's recognized. It gives more, so. more people excuses to like take work off. Yeah, but I feel like half the holidays that people take work off don't even you can't even take off from work anymore. True. They've like changed a lot of that. Um also I'm still getting my lunar new year look together. I need to rhinestone the thing. I need to do it. It's too. gonna be late, but who cares? It's still lunar new year. Well so. it lasts the celebration technically lasts a week, so you you have how many more days? Not You've got some time. days left. But technically, oh. it's still the year of the dragon, so it will work. It is the year. Yeah, it's a year. It's not the day. Exactly. It's a year. So, yeah. You do it the day before the next year. <laughs> and then I drop the next one on the last day of the next right year. After, right after. Oh, right after? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um. Back to back. Yeah. Do you want to... I don't remember how the start of the episode was. I fear um, they were just talking. You should have went home. Yup. I'll get over it. I'll get over it. I'll get over it. I'll get Has over there it. been any comments? Have you looked at the comments on the last episode? No. I have not looked to see if anyone was like, why does Frederick hate Q? Oh, and once again, if no one comments, now we know how well, many Well, we did fans upload that, that episode like a week and a half after. Um, to be fair. Let me go look. Oh, let me. Please. Let me go look. Because now I'm curious. There is some comments, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> And what if they're like, agreed, she should have went home. Oh, one of them said, damn, Frederick said, drag race? No, drag Q. Right. Yeah, I was in my mood that day. It was just because it was bun. It's because I watched that lip sync a lot of times. And each time it made me more mad. That's so the that's only one. I, like... Well. Oh, and then someone replied, Frederick really said Q. No, why? <laughs> I fear it. <laughs> No one came to their She's fence, never escaping so. that joke. The why joke. The why joke is... No, because that... But the group photo they posted on social... Of Stop! The, I don't even... Her mug is completely different. Keep, it was... We don't even drag her. No, it's not <laughs> drag, though, because, like, if we're gonna bring up people that look different in their photos, we could talk about Rosé all day. Yeah. Rosé be looking like five different people on every different day of the week. Just because of the editing that she does. I don't think it was necessarily editing, though. I think it was just her makeup versus and like the position of her on the camera. I think she changed no, think, her makeup. Oh, in the you mean in the video or that um? No, the photo of like the of Morphine, Safira, and John. Oh, you're her. talking about Q. I thought you were talking about Rose. Still, so. no, Rose, I was talking. No, no, no. Rose, Rose is a whole different story. That's not Rose. That's Rose Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's beer. <laughs> but yeah, so this week the girls were tasked to create. Um, dolls with a matching dolls. looks. So they had to do dolls and themselves in the same look. This is a super fun challenge 
The fact that they eliminated the only doll in the season before this episode feels like a crime. True. Um, and then also the yeah, fact they that didn't they didn't do it on the one with six five trans, trans girls. People. Like it was six, five or six trans people. No, I think it's actually five. It was five because of the I think there's six now. Oh, work. I think another one. Um, or they could have done another it last one. last season with Sugar and Spice, the the one they literally brand wow. themselves as dolls. I fear they didn't want to give him a win. Oh, I don't think they would have won. They can't design shit. Oh. I mean, they can design oh. shit. They just can't. They are not the best seamstresses. True. And that's not shade. Well, that's all tea. Isn't Sugar the one who knows how to sew more than Spice? Sugar, yeah. But Sugar never got to the, the sewing challenge. Yeah, true. And then Spice, they both know how to design looks, but Sugar usually sews them. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe if they... if. I don't know. I think if they both would have been there, though, they would have been, like, helping each other, and it would have just been distracting, and they wouldn't have finished in time or something. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Um, but, yeah. So, I, I love, love this. Challenge. I love this. I think this. they should keep it. Yeah. This is one that, too, where I'm, like, this could be every season, and this is another design challenge where, like, I like the idea of it. Trixie is so mad. <laughs> Pissed. Fuming. <laughs> this is this is one where, like, because, you know, in UK, when they do, like, they give the girls a box, and they pair them, and they're, like, you both have to create a look using yeah. the same materials in this box and like then we're going to judge you against each other. That is like one of my favorite design challenges on Drag Race because I think it's so fun. Yeah. Um, is it scary if you're put with someone that's really no- really knows what they're doing? Yeah. But get it together, girl. Well, that's the point. Yeah. Okay. Alright. You ready? Yes. First up, we have Miss Nymphia Wind. Vote yellow. Alright, so this has been like I, I've been, like, seeing everyone talk about it, and, like, mm-hmm. everyone's 50 It's a good look. Whether or not she deserved. No, yeah. No, I don't think anyone denies it's good, mm-hmm. but did she deserve top? What do you think? I would say no, just because the doll has a headpiece, she doesn't, and then the bows on the dolls are completely different. And there's also, there's pink fabric up here on her dress, but not on the doll. And the challenge was to have a matching doll to your look, so I would say she's not deserving of a top placement. And plus her, like, what's it called? It's like her voiceover. It wasn't as, like, entertaining as other ones. That being said, if this was any other fucking design challenge, just not, like, an unconventional material one, this would be a winning look. Boots. Yeah, I love, I love the... The (laughs) big... thinking of Roxy Andrews. We wear the shawl. (laughs) Um, what's a shawl? What's a shawl? No, I love her shawl. No, the bow, too. I think she, like... There's either how she sewed it or something, but I love how it looks like the ribbon is, like, specifically placed when she's walking. Do you see that? Yeah, I don't see many ribbons there. Well, I'm not talking just about on the front. I'm talking about, like, the way the... the, Oh, the way it's falling. The way it's falling. It's, like, so graceful and beautiful, and I just love... I think she specifically sewed it to be like that, to kind of make it look like it's, like, wrapped up and then going down again. But, yeah, Yeah. I love this look. For me, it's a goon. Even though it's not. Yeah, total goon. I don't think she's driven high, but... Do you know who gave her this wig? Amanda. <laughs> she says that in, like, the Untucked or, like, on yeah. the runway. She's... I was like, oh. That's why in Untucked, she was like... she. They were like, oh, girl, that's why you didn't win, because she gave you her wig. And she just went home. Yeah, I don't know why... I guess she didn't have, like, an orange wig. It's the way this is, like, one of Amanda's best wigs, but it's not on her. It's also... Yeah. It's a lovely yeah, wig. It's like one of Nymphia's worst wigs, but <gasps> Amanda's best wig. Stop. <laughs> no. But yeah, I like this look. It's a goon. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a goon. I remember she tweeted like she ran out of yellow fabric and I was like, then why didn't you switch the bow on why the doll? Switch it to pink. Like Yeah, she could That's like no fabric to work yeah, with. Yeah, she could have cut out like something to do the, the ribbon on the doll. I don't know. Yeah, she probably like did the whole doll first and then made her look. Which was the big mistake, yeah. so. Yeah. Next it's up okay, we though. have... still a good look. Yeah. Next up we have Dawn. This was her intergalactic edition. They had, like, the editions. Nymphia's... Please. Oh Nymphia's God, so. was... Um, spring banana, yellow carpet edition. Dawn's is... Galactic Empress edition. Mm-hmm. I like this look. I do like this look a lot. Um, honestly, for me, I want, her high. I want her to win just because I want a Q to be face cracked. For me, for me, I'll get into why I like this look more than Q's. Um, and it's not even, I'm not like you where I like just hate Q. Um, no, I think Q deserved her win. 
So the reason <laughs> I think Dawn's is better, because if we're looking at a scope of like a doll challenge, mass producing Dawn's doll would be so much easier. Dawn's look is way more editorial and could be seen on many of runways. Personally, Q's look is good. I think it's just too much. It's one of those looks for me. It's like, well, you should, she should take something off. I don't mind how much cute for me it's like i look at dawn's and i, sh- I know she tweeted about it too it's like technically like this head for the thing around her head it's not like there was not a hem basically um yeah. it's just like it's cut if, if you look close up and on the skirt at the bottom so i guess she ran out of time other yeah, than that they didn't, though, they didn't clock her on that because she never said that in that episode yeah i'm surprised they did you hear about so nasha talked yeah. about that she said Oh. She talked about that at Roscoe's. She said, if these girls ever say anything about a look having not a hem there or something, the judges will repeat what they said verbatim on the runway. Because the judges can't see if there's a fucking hem or not. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, too away. far away. That's how so, far away is. Like, it's fine. I think I that's the only reason they never said that about Dawn is because Dawn didn't say it. So, yeah. but Good. yeah, I do think. We'll get to Q, but I like this look. It's a goon. I think it's really fun. Yeah, it's a goon. And it's... Do you like it more blue or purple? Because it's technically purple. I don't care. <laughs> I think it looks good either way. I think purple or blue. Not this... Not Did th- you think it was Not blue... this being... Is it silver and blue, blue or is it silver and purple dress? <laughs> no, it's like actually... Like, John made a f- her photo shoot. It's pure purple. But because of these lights, it makes it blue. Oh, I didn't notice the difference, I fear. I think it looks good Because Law said purple. Oh. And everyone's like, what? Oh. But no, I think it looks good. Yeah, I like it's it. A go- it's I a also good. like Dawn's lashes. Dawn's lashes are, like, always so fun. Yeah, these are really these are really cool ones. I want to know if she got those. Mm. Goon. Goon. Next up, we have Tsunami Muse. You can start with this one. Because I started with Dawn. I think it's really it's like exactly her doll, which is yeah. really good. It's on um, the it's on the pin the nail on the head. hmm I would say like it's just like it's not like exciting, but like yeah. it is her doll, so it's good. It's yeah. a goon for me. I, I like love it. love the pants. The pants are beautifully yeah. fitted to herself. For me, where I don't like the elements of this look, I don't think she needed that light blue fabric. I think she could have just kept with the dark pant and then like the purple accents. Yeah. And uh, yeah. did if imagine if they she did, did like a, a top, different top where like the glove and the the top was connected or something or there was like cutouts but it was all connected and then she had like the same ribbon. Like I don't think she needs that mm-hmm. light blue. I feel like it cheapens the look. You know what it's giving? I think this reminds me one she reminds me of Aisha from Wings Club. Oh, down down but also i think this looks like her look that she remember she dressed like ariel when like they like met up in episode two yeah oh yeah and that look was i better. think that's why it's like <laughs> what it was just, it, yeah true it was um yeah it just like it reminds me of some like stuff she's already had but like it's still an okay look oh yeah it's not a bad look i would definitely give it a goon do you know she's been safe this entire all six episodes has anything. she yeah, that's what people said. That's rotten. <laughs> and she's not crying about it. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it's a goon. It's it's like goon. a safe goon for me. Yeah. Next up, we have Morphine Love Dion. I like this look. That, that hair on that doll. <laughs> the doll is scary. What happened to her? The doll is scary. Um, I will think it's... I do think it's funny. She's like, Michelle told me to not rely on my BBL, but she still has, like, cutouts around her ass. Granted, she did have, like, thing that was, like, holding it. But, like, I feel like every time they showed us... She didn't talk about it, though. Every time they panned to her, I feel like... um, No, I didn't her voiceover mention her BBL? No, oh, I don't remember, actually. I swear it mentioned her BBL. Maybe it did, then. I'm, like, almost positive. But... Wow. Yeah, I thought this was still a great look. I really like the fabric, too. It fits, like... Her Miami vibe, so the doll is a little scary, but besides that, I think it's I think it's safe. So it's okay, yeah. It's yeah. just safe. She was called safe for a reason, and that's fine. So goon. That being said, we goon. 
Okay, next up. Maya, Lamon, LePage. Iman. Oh, is it Iman? <laughs> Not me getting it wrong yeah. right now. Girl, you got me on this thing in like five minutes. I was like, when do you want to film the episode? And you go, 20 minutes from now? Well, I didn't. I thought you wanted to tonight because tomorrow is the next episode. So I was like, yes, I just didn't, ex- I didn't expect you to say that. I was like, oh, Frederick's going to be like, oh, can we film it tomorrow? Um, I was going to say that, and I was like, no, let me get up. But yeah, here we have Maya's look. I don't think it's bad. I want to start by saying that. There is a lot of, like, okay. I know it's well-fitted. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I know the judges critiqued her for being like, the doll doesn't match. And, like, yeah, she could have padded it. But also, like, not every bitch in that workroom is going to have to pad their fucking doll. That's not fair, in my opinion. Oh, are they saying... Wait, they said oh, yeah, that they they, her, her doll should have matched her body more. I think they should have given them a doll that was thicker. Yeah, because like, that's not... Personally, that's not fair, like, for me, like, to the, say that. Like, because not every girl is going to have to pad their doll. Unless well, they want to. not fair to the to. big girls. That's, big yeah, girl. that's what I mean. Like, it's not fair to the the girls that aren't just, like, shaped like a normal doll. It's thick. Yeah, like... <laughs> It's giving like setting up the big girls, which isn't fair. So yeah. Um. That being said, also don't like the wig that match. The the wig doesn't match, and that bugs me. The color. Yeah. I wish she was. Blonde. I almost wish she was in this lighter blonde. Hmm. Um. That all kind of gives like RuPaul in a workout video. So true. I feel like I've seen RuPaul in a workout video like yeah. this. Yeah. Um. And then. But no, it's not a good one. Another thing, she didn't sew a majority of this. True. So that's... it's. This is a hard one to look at because it's like... It's constructed beautifully. But yes, like... Thank you so much, Safira. Thank you, Safira. Um, this for me also, though, is like a, the curse of like grabbing a tacky fabric and making it look... I hate fabrics like this. I think they're hideous. I just don't like the tie-dye-ish colors yeah it's weird or like patterns yeah it's weird especially when it's like the whole look yeah i don't know well i'm sorry i'm gonna have to say i'm gonna have to say gone just because she didn't make most of it either i know on the runway she said that she did make most of it i hope the girls get into that (laughs) because well i do i i hope safira finds out about that because that feels like hella shady to not say that well oh i don't never mind Granted, it's competition, no, they, but... They don't watch it, never mind. No, but, like, remember when she said that? Dawn was, like... Yeah. She, she was gooped, and I was ready for her I to bring it up. I think Dawn will in. bring that up. I think someone will. Um, Yeah, I just don't think this is a good look. Like... Yeah, sorry, my... I'm gonna have to give it a gone. That being said, we'll get to her in the lip sync later. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Next up, we have Plasma. What do you think about this? Since you, lo- you love the theater gaze... Oh, yeah. Oh, so much. <laughs> the doll's cute. The doll was snatched. I love the makeover that she did on the doll, too. Like, she's yeah. cute. Um, yeah, her makeup, the doll's makeup is... Stop. Stop. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Plasma's makeup is good. I like her makeup. I do want to see her tone down the nose contour just no, a it's bit. It's just the nose contour. That's the only thing that's, like, getting me. Um, And it's not even, like, how she does it. I just don't want her to make it so, like, wide. I want her to, like keep it thin and like tight and clean cleaner lines like at the tip it really loses me it's like really messy and well, like, like brown i feel like it's rare we see my problem is like the way we're critiquing her makeup <laughs> so sorry plasma you're a great queen um well they could teach her makeup, rarely see so. like yeah i just but they critiqued it as good <laughs> they think it's getting better michelle critiqued <laughs> it as no michelle literally said yeah, yeah we're going on a journey with your makeup and then she said something about her nose and that's why plasma or that's why jane read her in untucked she's like but i'm like has much changed i don't remember she the way they the haven't freckles. even complimented amanda's makeup oh, thank they didn't God, do the, yeah, they didn't yeah. she didn't do her freckles i think she's yeah, but amanda's makeup changed so much each episode yeah but they way. had a narrative for amanda yeah to go home don't sadly see. I don't think plasma's makeup is changing that much that being said i just think there should be a separation on the eyebrow to nose contour yeah because it's straight up a line like it's a curve yeah all the way anyways getting into the look what do you think about the look um it's not that good the the, the scarf falling off 
glue that I shit just down. Wish she, that I shit just down. wish she didn't fuck with it so much. She should have just let it stay down. Let it fall, yeah. Yeah, let it fall. Like, oh, she took it off. Oh, oh it's a windy day. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Imagine if it fell and then, like, she fell. Like, yeah, it was so like, much she'd be like, oh, my God, it's so windy. Like, she should have played into it or something. Like, she, like, that's her whole thing is, like, being theatrical. Yeah. Um, I also wish, like, the it was a little bit bigger. Yeah, so, I, I wish the, there is, like, also, too, like, there's something on the doll. Is that the, the headscarf that's going all the way down to the floor? Like, I wish the headscarf was just, like, more va va boom Big. I yeah. think it would have, like, Cause helped. Because the doll looks so good. And I feel like her look yeah. is, like, lacking compared to the doll. And that's what makes me yeah, upset. Yeah, because the, the scarf is, like, the moment. Yeah. On the, on the doll. And on the her, moment. it's not. It's not, like, the ooh-ah sensation. And it makes me sad. Well. So. Yeah. I will still give this a goon because I think it looks good and they look very similar for the most part. I'll give you a low goon. Okay, a low goon. Okay, you barely. Okay, lagoon. Goon, goon lagoon. Please. All right. Okay. Next up. Next up is kill. I love this. I do too. I just think. What would you want her to take off? The headpiece. Do a wig. Really? Oh. Yeah, because I love... Or be bald. Whatever. I love mm-hmm. the the thing around her shoulders to her breasts, and then the, like, dramaticness on the bottom. And then I love that it's, like, all one bodysuit. For me, the head... Oh, and the fucking wire wings. Those cheap-ass wings. Yeah. On her, the doll... On the doll, they look so good, but on her, they look booger. They look so... It cheapens it so much. I mean, you can't even, like, see it right now. Yeah, it's, because like, of so the background. Funny. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, for me, like... That's fair. Where I lose her in this. It's, like... I don't know. But it's still a good look. No, I like she look. got the best fabrics, too. Yeah. Some of the best fabrics, This yeah. one looks the most, like, rich. Expensive, yeah. Um, Do you have anything else you want to say about it? No, Since I really you like always... this look. Oh, this week you're very quiet about Q. <gasps> no, I give her... Pro- like, I liked all of her looks. Just that one time I really did not like that look. <laughs> yeah, well, and also, too, like, I liked her looks, too. I just don't like that she keeps crying about being safe. But now she can't do that anymore because sure. she won a challenge, so. So I better not see no damn tears. <laughs> I think she's going to go safe. home soon, then. She oh. got her win. Well, yeah, her storyline technically has ended. Yeah. So... If we're looking at it as a producer, she probably will go home. Um, which sucks. In a way, because her looks are so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The I, I If she goes home in the next couple episodes, I fear we have this... I fear we have Drag Race production, like, on lock. Like, it's just getting so predictable. I mean, I don't see who... I mean, she meant to just say that first time. I'm like, who else could be her in a lip sync? Like, most of them, I feel like. Yeah, that too. Because Amanda would be her in the lip sync. At this point. So, yeah. yeah. It's just it's just frustrating because I felt like what, going into this season, I didn't feel like it was going to be so predictable. But I feel like the more episodes we get in, like, it's getting very clear, like, what production's doing. Yeah. And I mean, you know how all this could be upset. solved? If you just sh- let the girls go on the runway, even when they're eliminated, like, All-Stars 8. Yeah, but also I just wish the production would stop forcing shit so much. Because there's been great storylines that they're cutting. Yeah, like Amanda should have been with Plain in a lip sync. Like, they should have lip synced against each other. Even if Plain won, that was a great storyline that they just threw away. And it wasn't a forced storyline either. Well, Plain was a bit forced, but... Yeah, (laughs) it wasn't production forcing it. Anyways, this is... You see Amanda, she was, like, at a gig, and she's... It was, like, a song that was, like... We hate playing Jane or something. <laughs> Not a song, but like she said it while she was dancing. Oh, damn. It's on, um, her, it's on her page on Twitter. But yeah, I would give this a goon. It's a goon. Mm-hmm. Next, okay, up, next up, we got Pleaching. Um, there's a the lot of discourse look. on this, of this look online too, I feel like. This one in Nymphia. Because people, yeah, people are debating who should have been in the top. Yeah, people, I think Plain got I the think top. I think Plain because... deserves to be in the top. That being said, yeah, this like look is basic. Very good replica of the doll. It's replicated well, and it like looks great. Um, yeah. That being said, the look is how... basic. Yeah, I personally like queens when I can like see their aesthetic through their design challenges too, and I'm like, I don't really know. 
what is what is plain's aesthetic though what else is, i still don't know really. big boobs Let's ask the. <laughs> what do you? What do you? No, genuinely though, like, what do you guys think her aesthetic is? Because I feel like we got a bit of her aesthetic episode one with the robe, but that hasn't like come back through in like anything almost. I feel like that like Russian side of her that I, I thought was in her. She talks about her Russianness as she much, did this like... episode though, because she talked about how like. She but not like through her, her clothing, I'd say. Oh, I feel like she... I thought for, through the first episode, she was going to portray that into, like, some of her runways. Granted, this is a design challenge, but, you know. I don't know. I still I know, I like, like this look. No, it's a good look. I thought she looked beautiful. I was like, oh, she's giving pussy. Mm-hmm. And her... We have to remember the voiceover matters, too. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember any of the voiceovers. Marketing but this I, remember this... I remember this one being good. Um, Yeah, it's a goon. Yeah, I would give this a goon. I love the shoulders too. That like square mm-hmm. shoulder like does so much sometimes. So yeah. And next up we have Safira Crystal. What do you think? It's okay. It's safe. I think. I think everyone knows like we would have liked the hair bigger because the doll was cool. Yeah, I loved. Yeah, the doll looked so interesting. And then when um no that pattern though. <laughs> Yeah. It's so much better on the doll. Yeah, I still think well, it's because it's bigger no, on I know the it's doll. The same. Yeah. Um yeah, for me this look is safe. I think there's elements that could be better, but I don't think it's a bad look by any means. No, it's okay. Do you think she should have used her immunity potion? No. If yeah. I was there and you saw Geneva and you were also <laughs> helping. Oh. I thought like <gasps> I thought she was better than Four of the girls, maybe. Oh, 100%. I don't think she... Even if she used her immunity, I don't think she was going to be low where Plasma was. Because... And also, I don't think you would have gone home. She had a good voiceover, and... um, Her look was still, like, put together, and she wasn't struggling visually on the runway, like Plasma. But her look wasn't, like... It's like RuPaul says, that inner saboteur. Yeah, do you think do you think plain is part of the reason that she used it? Do you think she like a little? To, yes. Yeah, because she talked about it in Untucked. She was like, she just kept, I kept hearing the girls like saying stuff, and then I was just like, for me, I was just like I gagged. I was just gagged that she would like let that get to her. Yeah, I was like, knows, damn. Right? Um, but yeah, it's a safe goon. Um, okay. I love that the the not correct size titty plate made a return. I know that she doesn't have a different titty plate with her, and I love that we're just going to keep seeing this one all season. Because <laughs> it's so funny to look at. I don't think it's as bad in this one. It's a lot better it's... in this one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'd give this, I would give this a goon. Would it's you? Goon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would. And next now up, this next one. We have, next up, we have Geneva. <laughs> How did your ruffle go? It's upside down on her. Yeah. Like, <laughs> This one goes around, and this one goes down. Yeah. I think the doll's great, actually. Oh, you don't like the doll? Oh, we're just gonna lie now? I actually think the doll... I think there's elements of the doll that are great. I love the makeup she did on the doll, but then, like, why would she do such bright white on herself, but not on her... Like, on the doll, but not her? Oh, you're saying the makeup? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the look, so I don't like it on the doll. Oh, I like the ruffle on the doll and I like how big the paillettes are. The ruffle the is the only thing I like on the doll. That's fair. Um, there's something about this fabric well, though that for me, <laughs> this fabric is very like sexual. The the, the ruffle. Blue? Or you mean the the ruffle? Oh, you're giving very pus- pussy. It's giving very pussy. Yeah. It's like well, it's I good. can't take my eyes off of it. Um I like it. I think if she just did that, just like almost like a swoop around her body, that would have been fine. That would have been really cool. Just be naked. Just be nude. I think that would have caught them off guard. And give, and give only pussy. Yeah. Yeah, and the doll would have her butt out too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how she's gonna market that, but work. Well, technically, I mean, most dolls are naked. They just come True. with clothes on. They're all yeah. naked to begin with. They're all born naked, and the rest is drag. <laughs> so, and your face just needs a bad. paper bag. Right. <laughs> um 
But yeah, I'd have to give this a gone. No, it's gone. How also, think, the fucking shoe. The shoe. Yeah. Like, I like those shoes, but not in, like, I just this sense. never seen an ankle strap so high compared to the shoe. Also, the ankle like strap is so up. thick. Yeah, never seen like, an ankle strap. What did Law say, though? What were you going to bring up? Danny DeVito's legs. That was rotten. Well, for, no, that was, okay, there's two. First, she goes, head up, beauty queen. Head down, or neck neck down, horror queen. And then Geneva just smiles. <laughs> And then she she said, she said, your doll has RuPaul's legs, but you got Danny DeVito's legs. That is rotted. That's rotted. Yeah, if she would have made the shirt shorter, the skirt shorter, I could see like them not saying that. But yeah, I just this and this look this look gives me um. This is like something you'd clean your bathroom with. Oh, it looks like bathroom cleaning. She is like a no no like no a thing. like the materials oh. she used. Look like something you'd clean your bathroom with. Yeah. Or like you'd have in your. No, bathroom. actually, if I like squint, it kind of looks like if you if you just look at the dress that she's wearing, it looks like the white skirt is like the breast the bristles and like the handles the blue part. Yeah. It but looks like bathroom. Like a, a sh- it's giving <laughs> unconventional design challenge where they do use bathroom materials. Yeah, those pads are really. Yeah. So sorry, girl. And finally, Nadia. we have Megami. I live. This is my personal favorite fabric of the night. She got a mm-hmm. great fabric. Um, and it True. looks great. It's fitted well. Her doll and her match basically perfectly. Oh. Um. Yeah. I think this is great. I, th- I would say, like, the only thing is, like, it's a little... Compared to like the girls in the top, like it's not, there's not a lot compared to like. I mean, them. you could argue. Still a good look. I feel like you could argue this and Jane both being basic, but maybe being in top. Yeah. Because if we're going to get into it, like this, this and Jane, like they both matched the doll perfectly. They both fitted well. They're both club outfits. Yeah. You could technically argue a top placement for either of them. I think. I like Jane's a little more. I, I do Jane's too. I do too. But I do think, like, you could have argued a top. Mm-hmm. I think, honestly, like, I think, besides Nymphia, I think Megami was, like, pretty high in the safes. Yeah. Um, well, I could, she's not going to... Production does not like her. That's clearly. why she's not... Yeah, I mean, that's clearly why she's probably... They have a prediction for how she's going to play out, which sucks, because I really like Megami, mm-hmm. and I wish we would get, like, more screen time of her. Um... Mm-hmm. Because I feel like she's, like, barely been in some of the episodes, which makes me so sad. Um, yeah. But yeah, I like... look at the statistic of, like, confessionals and see where she lands. Yeah. I mean, do you have that pulled up? Since you're going to No, that? but, like, I'm pretty sure she's at the bottom. Is she really? I'm pretty sure she has less than, than someone... Some than, like, girls. Amanda, I think. Yeah. Well, let me try Turn to find around. it. Since that was... Our... What do you give the look? I would go. I... Oh, oh, I go. And now we get to... Oh, do you agree with the winner? Q? Oh, you wanted Dawn to win, though. Yeah. I don't know if I wanted Dawn to win, because she, like, deserve. I kind of just wanted Q to get face You just cocked. wanted Q to lose. <laughs> I just wanted Q to get face cocked again, because I think it's a funny storyline. That would have been very funny. But no, I do I think... If I was production, I kind of would do that. I do think Q <laughs> was deserving. I will say that. Um, mm-hmm. But I do think Dawn was right on her ass. For sure. Yeah. Um, I think they could give out double wins a little bit more. Well, they did just give out four wins so... the previous week. True. And they made... Well, to be <laughs> fair, though, it's not like they split the fucking... It's not like they gave them all $5,000. They split the fucking money. So, Don and Q would have gotten, like, $2,500 each. So... True. Um, but, yeah, I agree with this episode. Do we agree with the bottoms? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the lip sync song? Oh, um, honestly, I don't even remember. When I Google, I just remember what happened. What See, happened? See, if it's not a good song, I just remember, I just remember Maya, like, that's it. Yeah, I remember Maya. Oh. The thing is, if I don't like the song, I'm not going to remember it. Oh, it was Control. Yes. 
I don't remember who it's by, but it's Control. That's the song. <laughs> See the way we don't even. <laughs> yeah, I, this lip sync was like, it was just a Maya show. Like I feel like I was just watching Maya perform at the gig. That was great. It was yeah, it was it's lovely. Insane. I mean, we I think we knew that Geneva was gonna hit it. That was her like what third time bottom. She lip synced every week. That's it was her third I bottom. Keep news about that. Um, put that girl to work. Yeah. Also. Another thing about like uh production, Nisha brought this up too. Um Geneva said two times, two girls she didn't want to lip sync against. Mirage oh. and Maya. Mm-hmm. And look who she lip synced against. Um Well. Yeah. Production be listening to every little thing you fucking say. <laughs> but the way I just But then you, you can't be quiet though, because then they use it against you. You won't be in it. Yeah. You know, like it's such a weird playing field with with them of like, how do you navigate drag race in a way where like they're not using shit against you by. But you'll be favored. But you'll be favored. Yeah. It's so, Mm -hmm. it's so interesting. Um, Well, you don't want to be too favored that people don't like you. (laughs) (laughs) Because I started, I literally was like, I'm getting mad at Gigi Good. And got Mick for not being the bottom when they could have been. <laughs> yeah. It's not their fault. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the mo- when did you think Gigi should have been the bottom? Um, it was. I did not like her. Uh, what's her? What's it called? The makeover challenge. That look. Okay, that's fair. That was it. Because I know, I know, when got Mick should have been. It should have been the look where she had like the purple monster outfit. That was. It. That was the look she should have been in the bottom. I agreed with that. I was very surprised when she wasn't. Um. That's fair. I get that. So who, it's like it's not their fault. Who are you gonna start hating this season because they're not in the bottom? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> let me. See. I mean, so far I think they've all been fair. Yeah. I think there's been this week and last week. I would say we've gotten some weird. Actually, no, not this week. The week last week was the weirdest judging so far. Amanda's elimination. Yeah. That was like the weirdest, strangest judging we've seen. It was very forced with some of them. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, slay party. Did you have you watched the preview of the next episode yet? No. Oh, uh, Dawn goes into a little. She has a little Jan moment. Oh really? They said they said because Q one, the disease went. To, they, it passed on. To, <laughs> to no, Dawn. why would Dawn play she into that moment. though? Oh, so scared of her now. Oh, is she the gonna? Is well, she, she gonna be I the one that never gets that. a win and then goes home? I mean, she's been high and in safe. both design challenges, yeah, and then safe. Yeah, the virus is coming for oh, everyone. Oh, girl, not the not and the, the tsunami. She's gonna go home in one lipstick. She's gonna go safe, 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 and then go home. Probably don't say that. Well, what like they don't know what to do with her. It looks like. Yeah. No, not the not the the virus, the Jan virus. <laughs> Girl, not that. Did she started. Who was the? Oh, technically, I think Milk started it, right? No, no, because she was n- no. Milk was just crying because she was safe. Jan was like yeah. face cracked con- continuously, win, yeah. and then specifically on the Madonna Rusical, that was when the face crack. Do you think she deserved to win? One hundred percent. Her runway. I I think Gigi did great too, though. Yeah, but her runway is what took it over the top for me. Gigi's runway was was so last second thought out. I feel like was it hilarious and funny TV, and she made an entire merch line about it. Yes. Yes. But I do think Jan should have won that challenge. Yeah. I think that should have been her first win in Drag Race, not in All Stars. That's fair. Because Trinity K. Bonet should have won the. Mm -hmm. I rewatched um season 15 i was like i didn't realize lucy got two wins i was like why are you crying so much no she got like six wins shut up (laughs) (laughs) oh my god um challenges do we have anything else to discuss the untucked was oh plasma plane came for plasma oh yeah yeah, yeah. she and they got cut off by luck no like i'm sorry also untucked only being 20 minutes i feel like it used to be longer they used to be 40 Make it 40 minutes again and don't bring in the guest judge till like the last five minutes. I don't need that shit. Also, they didn't even talk. Law didn't even, or they didn't show Law talking about Nymphios. Maybe oh. it's because she might have said, like, I thought you were going to. Maybe because Law said, 
thought you were going to be at the top. And they want to keep that. Well, it's because it was like, it was probably one of the coolest designs in the challenge. And it was very runway. Yeah. For me, I'm the sure most runway them. looks on this category were Nympia and Dawn. Yeah. And that's probably why Law liked them. So. Because yeah. you would see them on like a fashion week. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, no, I'm glad Plasma is a... I'm glad like even though Amanda's gone, this is still continuing through Plasma. Yeah. I feel like She's it's going to continue <laughs> through everyone. Because apparently her and Geneva got in a fight. <laughs> like she's fighting with everyone. <laughs> Like she's just. Well, Geneva's gone now. So. Yeah, apparently it was like I think it was this episode or the episode prior, but yeah, they got into a fight, and I think planes just come for everybody. Um. Oh, what's your opinion on the fact that they filmed this reunion already? Um, I'm like okay with it. If they filmed it like right after they filmed the top four episode, I kind of live because the the drama's hot and there's no like fan interaction coming into it but also i kind mm. of like they kind of need to film one post finale though because the girls are watching it back now well they according to a live stream that had like four of the queens yes i know um, what you're talking about this reunion is supposed to be allegedly very good yeah and i, I think it will be a great <laughs> one but i also am like they don't they're not they probably didn't watch all the episodes back so like they probably no, didn't, they didn't see that them. some of the girls like said about them. So like yeah. I feel like what they did was great, but like can we film a second one? And then we can get into more of the stuff. Their Cause they're gonna like we'll see it on their you know that they've been fighting on social media and shit like that. And then also like I mean, yeah, Amanda and, and them are still fighting. Amanda and Plain are still fighting <laughs> after like three weeks. Um Plain was at her gig though. Did she tip her? She was in the audience. Someone, someone who was at that gig, let us know if they tipped her. It was at a. Where was it? I don't remember actually. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I I think that's interesting. I think it's smart because it's while the the drama is still hot. Mm-hmm. But and then also like, the girls may not act a certain way because the fans maybe as much. I don't know. I guess we'll yeah. see. I guess we'll see. Yeah. It's very interesting. I never would have thought that they would have done that. Yeah, they only did it because of the writer strike, which I'm like, what? I don't know why a writer strike is preventing you from. Yeah, that's filming, weird. But whatever. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Because like you still filmed the whole show. <laughs> yeah, that had like lip syncs in it, and like yeah, like acting writing challenges. challenges. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> weird, but yeah, I don't know. I'm interested. I will be mm-hmm. seated for the the reunion. We'll probably have a lot to discuss about that reunion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, let us know what y'all thought about these looks and who. Let us know your thoughts. Yeah. Do you agree? The, on, on do you disagree? That... Do you live? Do you laugh? Do you goon? I guess we'll mm-hmm. find out, and we'll see you guys. Well, I'm not gonna say next week because because we'll probably upload this episode like near the new episode. We'll probably try to like yeah. get them back in there so we can get back on track. Yeah, these are probably going to go very quickly next yeah. to each other. Yeah, so see you. So we'll see you soon. Probably in like a couple days. All right, bye. Mm-hmm.